All right, so here we go with another trailer video. I know nobody likes watching these videos, but I like working on the trailer. So today the project is gonna be replacing this fender right here. So actually, if we go all the way to the beginning, this trailer has hit something before and it is creased in multiple places. Previous owner did that, I don't know what happened to it, but over time, these cracks that started where fender bolts onto the i guess the deck have started cracking more and more and now they're just extremely loose to the point that i cannot get this fender to tighten very well at all there are other issues such as these spot welds for these steps are also broken because of that accident but the first things first i'm just going to replace the fender because that's the easiest thing to do this is definitely going to be a big securing point. Um, so what I have is, as you can see here, two new fenders. ATC has some weird 72 inch, 20 high, but 10 inch wide fenders. A lot of what you see online is actually um, either 9 inch wide or 10 and 3 quarter inch wide. So I was only able to find one dealer and that, that place is called Factory RV, and they sell the Tough Grade brand, and that is what I need for this exact trailer. Um, I guess I can put 10 and 3 quarters in, because then the tires would stick, or the fender would stick out even more. However, I just want this one to match that one, so here we are. Alright, so fender just came off. As you can see, two of the mounts, so this one right here, completely broken and isn't really connected to the fender itself because the pieces have just cracked right off and the uh, old seam sealer was basically holding it on. You can also see how warped this is because of hitting something. And like I was saying before, these are slightly loose. There are screws here holding it in, but there's also some tack welds which have completely broken off. Same thing with the back, um, you can see like this piece right here isn't really being held on by anything because that piece is gone. And this again, it's ever slow, slightly loose, screws here, but as you can see right here the tack welds are just completely gone. So what we're going to do is make sure that the new fender is an exact match, which it should be, and drill out these rivets, throw the template onto the new fender, and uh, start drilling those in and then once that's good we mount some fenders up
All right, so to finish everything up, you saw me drill everything so that backboard or whatever back plate is on there and all the holes are lined up. Basically, I matched the two uh, fenders together, clamped them together and just started drilling holes, making sure that everything was aligned properly. Then came to the point where I had the steps. So a cool tip I found was that you really can't go from the inside through because you'll never get anything right. But if you trace it, when that fencer is mounted and then you take a piece of paper and trace the step portion you have this little nice template then it is a backwards uh it's a backwards template so it goes on like this so just mark your seven punch holes take this baby on right here and then once that is good you're able to drill your holes exactly where you want them to And with the magic of time travel, we are finally done with this fender project. I didn't bother with tack welding anything on the steps, just because I can't take weld right now. But if you check it out here, this is a rock solid fender. So there is zero vibrations on this thing. So that is really, really nice. We compare it to the good one. Again, a rock solid fender. Way better, no play uh, compared to the broken one. I think just having these two mounts has really fixed everything. So, there you have it. One good ATC trailer fender.